Yeah, so one of the um, things I'm looking forward to at um, Ischel this year actually is discussing how to treat older patients, particularly with Hodgkin lymphoma. Um, it's the, really the one group of patients that do uh, much less well. So Hodgkin lymphoma generally considered highly curable, but in older patients, and by older, we really mean over 50. And then certainly once you get to over 60 and then over 70, the outcomes just get progressively less good. It's partly due to the, the unique biology that older patients with Hodgkin lymphoma have. It's not just the same diseases as young as in younger patients, uh, but it's also to do with the fact that patients, as you get older, tolerate chemotherapy less well. I mean that applies to every tumor site, not just Hodgkin's, but we certainly see it in Hodgkin's. One issue which I'm sure we'll be discussing is the use of bleomycin. So bleomycin is well known to cause pneumonitis or lung toxicity, and one of the major risk factors is age. In fact, many centres don't actually give any bleomycin to patients over 50 or 60. I have to say, my reading of the literature is it is okay okay to give bleomycin to patients between 60 and 70, but definitely no more than two cycles. Um, so if I'm giving ABVD, we'll give two ABVD. And if we're giving more chemo, we'll give AVD generally. And then in the real challenge I find of older patients is those who are, are not fit for an anthracycline, because anthracyclines are a really key part of um, the chemotherapy regimes in Hodgkin's. And it's very difficult, actually, to know how to treat, let's say, an 82-year-old with heart failure or poor ejection fraction. Um, I tend to start off with cl the Clavup regime, which doesn't have an anthracycline, but it's quite toxic. So you have to sort of dose reduce and potentially emit medicines that you think the patient won't tolerate. So they're a particularly challenging group. And I'd be very interested to hear the thoughts of um, the delegates of how they uh, approach these patients. And another um, a sort of key question in this patient group is how to integrate novel agents such as brentuximab, such as PD-1 inhibitors, um, to potentially reduce the need for chemo and therefore make it more tolerable and more deliverable. So yeah, it should be an interesting time.